I failed to mention this at the beginning of the show, but after doing the production, I decided I should say this before I get started, that if any kids are in the room, you should turn this off. This is not appropriate material for children, and it's not really appropriate for anyone. It shows you how bad this Netflix service is. So please, if you have a weak stomach or if you already don't subscribe to Netflix, there's no reason to listen to this. This is mostly for anyone who does subscribe to Netflix and anyone who might want to try to convince others not to subscribe to this evil, evil, evil movie publisher. Yeah, I'm flying solo again. Unfortunately, I had a little bit of issues with a couple of my guests' interviews and the bookings didn't quite work out this week. No worries. I've got tons of new content and awesome interviews coming next week. So it's not just going to be me talking to you. I promise you I have some a uh, few priests that are coming on back on to talk about their, their stories and some really, really good stuff again coming next week. But for right now, I want to talk about something that is very important to me and something that I've really done some research on in the last few days, and that is Netflix. Now, I actually recorded a 10 to 15 minute long podcast about Netflix and went into very graphic detail about some of the evil, evil shows that are produced by this company. Somehow, in the last few days, that show was deleted, and I think maybe in some way that was actually providential. Um, the details were so graphic, I, I literally had to warn, I think twice during the show that kids should definitely not be listening and anyone with a weak stomach should not be listening and even anyone who is already not subscribed to Netflix should not be listening. It is that bad. Now, before I get into this, I do want to say again that I'm not a moral authority. I'm no priest. I'm just someone who's doing a little bit of research and hoping that you can fill in the corners and do the rest for yourselves and try to spread this information so that people aren't supporting evil companies. That, that's my only point. I'm not trying to judge. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I just want us to be good Catholics and to spread the word of companies that are actively using your money for evil. Netflix, 100% without a question, is doing that. If you are subscribed to Netflix, you are actively supporting evil. I know that sounds harsh. I know it's not nice. I know you want to to watch your, your films on Netflix. I had Netflix for quite a few years up until about five or six years ago. So I, I've, I've done this too. I, I fully understand why it's a hard thing to, to wrap your brain around and why you would want to keep doing it. But once you start looking into what this company is producing and platforming, you cannot ever again spend your money on it. If you look at some of these shows that are on the platform, they're directly mocking Christ. There is a show that was on Netflix um, that is called The First Temptation of Christ. Again, of course, just the title is absolutely blasphemous and evil. And the show is about Christ being gay and his relationship with some other man. Obviously, it's supposed to be humor. It's supposed to be satire. And of course, as Catholics, we should know that that is absolutely directly from the devil. Now, that is platformed on there. That is not produced by Netflix. Another show recently got a lot of blowback from Christian communities and, and even anybody with morality around the world. Uh, a show produced, I believe, in France called Cuties, which literally objectifies and sexualizes young girls. The girls dress in very immodest outfits and dance and twerk and do all these terrible things. And the producers of the show of this show came out and tried to defend it by saying they were trying to show what was wrong about objectifying and sexualizing little girls by objectify, objectifying and sexualizing little girls. So obviously, again, something directly evil. No question about it. You just can't deny it. Again, though, I believe that was platformed, not produced. Now, a couple of the shows produced by Netflix. Um, I would really prefer that you go and do the research yourself if you don't believe me. Um, I don't want to go into them. It, it actually physically made me ill looking into these things and talking about them the last time I did a podcast. So I actually don't want to read them again. I don't want to go into the details of these shows because they are really that evil. I mean, I feel like I'm reading something that was written by Satan. I, again, this sounds like hyperbole. It's not. There, there's a show called um, Sex Education. A very brief summary. It is about high school children and their issues with sex and how they try to figure it out with one of the kids mothers this is clearly immoral evil and 
I honestly have no idea how it's not illegal. To me, that sounds absolutely like pedophilia, and I believe people have been arrested for much less. So the fact that it isn't getting any blowback at all from, from authorities and that it's just okay to run on Netflix shows you how absolutely insane our society is in general. There are uh, many other shows. There's a cartoon called, uh, I think it's called Big Mouth, which again is purely disgustingly sexual and immoral. Nothing else for it. It is literally just meant to gross you out and to be impure and immodest and disgusting. Again, produced by Netflix. This is a Netflix film. That Your money, which you are paying to Netflix as a subscriber, is producing this garbage. Now, the worst one that I came across was called Cursed. Again, a Netflix production. And suffice it to say that the entire purpose of this show is blasphemy and directly insulting and defaming God, Christ, the Catholic Church, priests, monks, nuns. The whole point of the show is to make the Catholic Church the bad guys. And when I mean bad guys, I mean going around and slaughtering people in the name of God, sexual perversions in the name of God, things that you, you really can't even imagine, like, like, like nightmares. And I think this all comes from our era of the Game of Thrones type era where the whole point is to try to shock people. It's the shock value. What can we do that will be more disgusting than the last episode? That's truly the show. And it's even more disgusting than Game of Thrones, which was obviously in itself incredibly disgusting. But this one is is directly blaspheming Christ and directly insulting and, and defaming and dragging through the mud the Catholic Church and making up, obviously, stories that are directly untrue and, and awful. And again, this is a Netflix production. So I, I cannot stress enough... You cannot have a Netflix subscription in any sense of the word and and not be sinning once you know what's on the platform. I know that's harsh. Again, I'm not a priest. I'm not a moral authority. But this one I'm really sure of, guys. Go look it up. Look up these shows. Big Mouth, Cursed, Sex Education. These are shows on Netflix produced by Netflix. If you can somehow argue with me that that your subscription and your 10 bucks a month isn't supporting this drivel, I would love to hear it. You may as well go sign up for some pornographic website in a pornographic website that is directly blaspheming God in the Catholic Church. So it can't get worse. It literally cannot get worse than what they are producing. Can't. And the fact that people are just allowed to produce this material, for one, in our society shows me how how deeply, deeply evil the world is. And we have to be aware of that. And, And for goodness sake, first of all, don't watch this stuff, obviously. It is absolutely sinful. Don't let your kids anywhere near this, even the internet, because this stuff is all available online anywhere. But also don't give your money to these companies. You're allowing this. You're helping this if you are subscribed to Netflix. Hard to hear, but absolutely true. If you don't believe me, look it up yourselves. But I hope that you trust me and immediately, immediately end your subscription to Netflix and never ever again support them or watch anything from their channel. 